Greetings, fellow traveler. Today's topic is life is not one size fits all. As I reflect on aspects of my journey, I, I've come to different realizations, uh, more importantly, here recently, of understanding that a part of my personality, per se, is wanting to fix issues or help others fix their issues. I used to really, really uh, ground myself and that is being part of my identity. Well, I learned along the way through various painful experiences <laughs> was I was attempting to fix problems in others that either they did not see or they just didn't care about changing. And I myself was taken aback when I realized, okay, you don't want to fix that. You don't want to change that. But it wasn't mine to fix. So as I began to reduce my attempts to gather those to walk with me and to walk with others and focus more so on my own individual path and forge my own way through my own guidance, uh, through my own intuition, I should say, through God's guidance. I became more at peace with seeing solutions when not voicing them. It helped me a lot. I mean, for the past, what, three, two, almost three years, I was doing counseling and I thought, yes, this is it. This is the way I give back. This is the way I help those who seek to be helped. But even then I found myself in a loop because the majority of the time it wasn't about the solution. It was about the clients being heard and that could take a toll on you when you've given the another way of handling situations or you've provided tools to help one assist themselves you begin to see a thing many people simply want to be heard they don't want to change i had to make my peace with that because just as i did before i took a personal i'm not doing my job correctly nah it wasn't about correctly. It was about managing expectation. I'm not uh, hmm, not perfect in any regard. So this has happened in my life as well. People will attempt to fix me or get me to change certain things because that's how they thought I should be. Yeah been on both sides of the spectrum i will remain to be on both sides of the spectrum because i understand it a little bit better now more recently i had a conversation with an individual and when we do uh speak there's usually a focus on a certain aspect coming from that person in our last conversation i found myself metaphorically providing an answer to what i seen was a consistent theme of complaints and when I provided that solution, once again, metaphorically, not directly telling him what to do, I spoke a metaphor and how that metaphor has helped me in the understanding of managing my expectation. The person was taken aback. You didn't voice it, but you could sense it. You could see the shift in the tone. And uh, I felt bad at first for about 15 minutes. And I said, okay, what can I do to not make them feel bad? That lasts for about 15 seconds. Then I was true to myself. If I feed that beast, if I change what I'm doing to make someone else comfortable, I'm falling right back into those old traps, correct? So why do it? Stay true to who you are. 
that's okay. Just as I give them space to say true to who they are. And in that moment, I realized, okay, they said their peace, fine. They were hurt. You said your peace, fine. You were hurt. There's no expectation after that. Like, there's no reason he needs to change or I need to change for what? He's a child of God just as I am and just as you are. I'm a child of whatever belief system you, or whatever higher power, I should say, you subscribe to. I'm okay with that. I hope you are okay with that for yourself as well. I share this this insight from uh, my own journey because realistically, it helped me sleep better at night. It helped me go through all my day more. And realizing there's nothing personal. Some things can be taken personal. I still work on that every day. It's nothing personal. We all walk on our power. And if it's a certain souvenir, if you will, that another traveler brings to you, you don't have to take it. You can respectfully decline it and keep it moving. And that in and of itself is empowering because you're not giving anything away. You're not giving any power away. And you're not allowing them to give away whatever energy negative or positive you're not allowing them to give that to you unless you warrant it unless you're truthfully open to it and that's fine so as i bring up that recent occurrence for myself it was an understanding of i began to look back on previous interactions and i got a better grasp of how that dynamic usually goes and it's usually me not speaking, uh, how should I say? Hmm. See, that, that caught me off guard. I just want to get the correct words for you. It was me reserving certain thoughts that I had. Not realizing that when I did speak my mind, this has happened before, now I'm looking at it. I did speak my mind truthfully in an authentic way. It wasn't received well. Okay. That promotes <laughs> for myself the want to speak my mind more, just not speak to the individual. That feels a lot truer to who I am. Everybody doesn't need to know my opinion. I don't need to know everybody's opinion. But having that realization for myself brought me a peace in that specific interaction that I've been cheating myself out of. There are many ways that I can go on about this topic as usual. I'm not going to ramble on. I'll say as simply as this. Be who you are. Do not be scared to change certain things. And if you decide to hold on to certain beliefs, habits, make sure you take time to evaluate them at times. It's not about perfection. It's about knowing how you're serving yourself. You see how you're serving yourself. You see how you're serving others. See, if I hold back my certain opinions and interactions, I'm serving somebody else by allowing them to pour their energy onto me. I don't want that. So be more outspoken. Be bolder in how you move or those you interact with. Not to overpower them, but to set that foundation of who you are serve yourself it's a little bit of selfish and it's also selfless because if you do it for yourself it's easier to recognize it and appreciate that in others whether you agree or not interesting learning lesson this week with that said these are my thoughts 
Thank you for taking the time to listen to them, and I look forward to hearing yours as well. Until next time, fellow traveler, be blessed.